Assalamualaikum and hi guys! In this video, I'll share with you how to control and monitor your 3D printer using AutoPrint on Raspberry Pi. Before that, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. For this project, we will use Raspberry Pi 4B, SD card and it is recommended to use 16GB and above, USB micro B cable, Pi camera with 1 meter of Raspberry Pi 15 pin cable, and USB C UK plug. Before we start, we need to download the AutoPy image. Now, insert your SD card. I'm using Raspberry Pi Imager to write the AutoPy image. Done. Now reinsert the SD card. Open this file using any text editor. I'm using a word pad. Uncomment this and insert your Wi-Fi SSID and password. Next, add your country. Mine is Malaysia. Save and eject the SD card. Insert the micro SD card into the Raspberry Pi. Connect the Pi camera. Connect the 3D printer to the Raspberry Pi using a USB micro B cable. Then Connect the USB-C to the Raspberry Pi. Before you power up your Raspberry Pi, please make sure that you already power up your 3D printer. Then you can power up your Raspberry Pi. Wait for the Raspberry Pi to boot. Then open Windows PowerShell. Write sshpi at octopi.local. The password is Raspberry. Write if config. And here is our IP address. Copy this. Open the web browser and paste it. Now, insert your username and password. Next, we will set up our 3D printer profile. My printer is Ender 3 V2. And here, you need to insert the printer dimensions. Now, 
If everything is okay, click next and then click finish. Tick both of these and click the connect button. This is the file that I have in my 3D printer SD card. This is where we can monitor the temperature. The control tab is where you can control your 3D printer movement and see the real-time video. You can also use your keyboard to control it. Now we will upload the G-code file to the 3D printer. Click on this button to load and print the G-code file. Now you can see that the temperature is increasing. The red line is for the nozzle and the blue line is for the bed temperature. At G-Code Viewer, you can see the printing process layer by layer. When it reaches both target temperature, the 3D printer will start printing the G-code file. That's all for today. I'm Suat from Cytron Technologies. Thank you for watching.